Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not really our church at all, but it is His, and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame, and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart, at your own pace, and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries. From Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilem Somi. You are a perfect man. How many of us are perfect? I don't mean perfect. I don't mean you don't see. But But the matter that you are matured. You will just laugh, but you won't offend by the words that are saying. Yet you are born so that you will reach because if you stumble, that means you are a child. You are not a perfect man. If a person will tease you, and then you will While we are worshiping, we are th- thinking about the person. You can't even worship God. You are offended. You have stumbled. You have stumbled by something that someone has spoken to you. But the Bible says if a person is not being stumbled by any word, that person can you are bad, you won't even see him. And he will just laugh. Because you know that that person doesn't have a key to open the heaven. That is why I say, mind your own business. Because it will be my people. You won't reach heaven. If you will there are people who be with you who want to make you if they do it easily then they will do it more. 
Whether they spoken or not, you need to continue and Whether you have heard it or not, you need to embrace it. We wouldn't be preaching because they speak sometimes they speak to the people they ask you did you have no they say, I won't you will preach in season in season I'm waiting for the work that God has given I won't stop praying just I won't stop praying that is where I was speaking to speak. I also have mouth to speak. You won't shut my mouth as I didn't shut yours. Do you hear me, brother? As I hear the word of God, it is clear to me. When I hear the insult, it defiles me. When I hear lies, it When I hear the truth, it liberates me. Everything that I hear, it does something to me. There's nothing that I hear that does Nothing that I hear that does Whatever that I hear, if I hear lies, it's binding. When I hear truth, it's free me. When I hear lies, it's When I hear death, it's poison. When I hear poison, it's make me When I hear it heals me. I cannot I cannot hear anything and I want to because whatever that you speak, it have power. Whether I've prayed or not, but the tongue have power. That is why that whatever that I speak, it shall come to pass. I don't need to shout or say it repeatedly. But when I say come out of her, then the demon comes out. When I say I bind, yet it is bound. When I say I heal you, heal. then you be shown heal. Heal. When I say I bless you, you are shown blessed. I don't need to say it. Once I say it, this thing leaves you. And then it will move away. God say, once I stand by way, you are waiting. It won't come back to me before. I am lying. Whatever I speak, I speak like him. When I speak, I know how to sow. And I know how to I know how to yeah, I know how to I resemble I speak while I am and speak things I speak when I am and things will come to pass when I worship he resides on my worship I cannot open my mouth and nothing will happen whenever I open my mouth something my spirit plays Elijah called the fire I can call power I can call power I can call glory and it will come down from heaven. Whenever I worship him, he will be like my worship. Whatever that I speak with my mouth, something will happen. It cannot happen. When the wishes and things come to pass, and then me as an heir of the heaven, when I speak, nothing would happen. What is this? The tongue. Many people they don't know the power of tongue. Whether we've prayed or not, this thing is powerful. Whether we have fasted or not, this thing is powerful. It has been given power above all the organs of the body. I believe that as you come out, you will feel the power of tongue. So that you will stop speaking a myth. There are things that you know in the world. Even though I walk in the shadow of the Lord's death, you will go and say, God, you are with me. You said you're not with me. You will be with me. Yes, inside and out. Yes, you have pain and pain. But you don't speak it out. Because greater is the one who is in me. 
things that we speak out with our tongues. Because we want them to understand. We don't want them to understand us. They need to die inside us. I say keep. We don't speak it out. Say keep. Because once we speak it out, say sign. it's as if we are signing them. There are things that the devil will throw at you He doesn't even know whether they got you or not because you are hidden in Christ Jesus. He will throw it to because you because it does not see you. There is the one whom you are hidden when he is throwing it. It's like it is Jesus on the cross. He will see you screaming. He will hear you shouting. But if you don't say anything, he doesn't even know that you have been Because your life is hidden together with Christ. You are hidden in Christ and in God. When the devil attacks you, he says Jesus before you. It is not you, it is the way. He is the one who is leading you in the great world. In the furnace of fire, in the den of fire, you are not the one who is visible, but he, he answers he first. He is inside, awaiting for you when you cry. You are the one who is being heard, crying. But if you keep quiet, we don't just cry like this. When things are happening, we don't just cry. When things are happening, we don't just scream. When things are bad because we, we are invisible. I am hidden. I am dwelling under the blood. I am dwelling under the blood. I am in the heart. I am hidden. Where I live, I live in Jesus. You cannot get me like this. The salvation made me to come out of ancestry and get into heaven. The, the witches should know that you cannot get me easily. You cannot get me easily. Hands me. You won't get me like that. I cannot. My life is Christ. in Christ with God. Do you hear this? My life is hidden in Christ with God. My life, you cannot get it easily. We are releasing those who are listening to us on the highway. If you want to hear the sermon, listen to car radio or watch us on Facebook No YouTube. When you say Swanem you I'm continuing. We don't just cry. I don't cry easily. That's why when you slap me, I give you another thing. You don't know the impact when you hit at me for the first time. That is why the Bible is because when you slap me, you don't even know whether you slap me or Jesus. Or Father. Jesus, when he returned, he said, Saul, Saul, why Saul are you persecuting me? Saul thinks he was persecuting Christ, not knowing that he was Christ. The devil thinks he is attacking you when he attacks you. When he attacks you it was counted Jesus. There are things when they happen to you. It was over and it was finished on the cross. That is why we don't cry easily. When you slap me, I will give you another thing. Why are you giving it another one? Did he hear the slap? Why I slap him on the other and they give me the other? I take the shirt and they give me the coat. 
because they won't understand. I don't know if you hear me. Let me tell you, brethren. We don't just scream like anyhow. Why do you make us to go one mile and we go an extra mile? And Indeed, the mile. This is confusing. So did this it. We are confusing the enemy. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear what I'm saying? Where I am, where I live, where I reside, I am hidden. If it was about the wishes, the witches I would have died. But because I live, if it was about the devil, I should have died long time ago. But look where I am. If it was about my enemies, I would have been, been, I would have been in a shame. But look where I am. Others, they hear me when I testify that what is the going through because I don't give a compliment or giving an enemy the compliment. There are other things that you do not talk about. We say, Father, forgive me them. They don't know what do. We count the words. Because we don't just speak like that. We don't say that. We don't say that. But we will keep quiet even we are being pierced. And they will. Yes, they have bruised us, but I won't speak my pain. Yes, they have pierced me, but mm, I won't speak my pain. They've put the snail on my hand, but I won't speak my pain. I don't speak. And all the he kept quiet. He was quiet. like a sheep. It's not everything where I will just scream or cry. Know that I am God. We don't shout all the time. There is a point where we just keep quiet. Not because he can see, but then he shows it is able. Whatever we say, he is able. 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 He has power to take us out of the dead, but we are be still and know. You see the tongue? It is the pen to write quickly. I don't just endorse like everything. When there's something that pokes me, oh, then I will scream and say there's something that is poking me. If it pokes me, praise the Lord. Get a bong and goes. We understand. Because I don't want to give it power that whatever you throw at me, it works. It's just the smaller thing. And now I'll let the whole world know about it. I will show you how powerful is the tongue. Now, if we put the horses, uh, bridles into their mouth that they may obey us, we turn about their whole body also. Oh, Mage Sifaga, Amadomo, Emilonian, Yamash, Ugoba Asila Lele, Sikondis, and Om Zimba Wonke Wawo. Behold, verse 4, the ships also, through they are so great and are driven by rough winds, are yet turned about by a very small rudder, whether the impulse of the steersman willeth. Begani nemikumbi inga ganje ikutwa imimoya enamanja ikondiswa ngepini elinginyane lapo umshayeli efuna ugu ikondisa kona. Just imagine that Kabanga. how great is the ship. But it's being controlled by small anyana thing. Gota nje ukutwa ipini elinginyane. Small steering wheel. It controlled the massive ship. Heavy ship. 
being controlled by a small thing. Just imagine a ship that is equivalent to this one. But where it is being controlled, it is a steering of this size. It is being turned a great, a massive ship. It is being controlled with the steering. It is big. control. But it is being controlled by the small thing. Ganja saw the tongue also about verse 4. Five. Verse 5 here. So the tongue also is a little member and boasted great things. Behold, how much is the kindled by how small a fire. Lunja lo no lima. Lui sito esingane kanti luya zikabi saga kulu. Bekani umli lo umnane uvutisa ilasi elingaga. Ho! Likewise, the tongue. It is boastful. Touch me, you will see. You will see. You will suffer the consequences. The little one saying to the gigantic person. David, the 17 year old, was saying this to Goliath. He said, I will chop off your head. The tongue. It is boastful. <laughs> it working with like <laughs> it, 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 it speak great things <laughs> yes it is so tiny <laughs> inside it is so tiny <laughs> but it, it is boastful you <laughs> may think it will attack you very badly to <laughs> behold how much is the kindle by how Small a fire. When you ignite the fire, you use the matches. Look how tiny it is. It is even smaller than your finger. But it is able to set alight the fire for the whole bush. Setting a light, the whole bush, the small fire. I'm going somewhere. Verse 7, man. Verse 6. Verse 6. And the tongue is a fire. Fundam shan. No li me lungum lilo. Tongue is a fire. Tongue, your tongue is a fire. If I want to burn you, I will say fire. You're going to burn. My tongue, your tongue, tongue is a fire. That's what the Bible says. It's not me saying so. Just read it. The tongue is a fire. It's not like a fire. It is a fire. Oh, come on. Are you getting it? Tongue is a fire. It's not like a fire. It doesn't carry fire. It is a fire. You see inside of you, there is a fire. On the day of the Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came, upon their heads, there were cloven tongues of fire. Then they spoke in tongues. Upon their heads, there were cloven tongues of fire. Cloven tongues of fire. Then they spoke in 
tongues. In other words, the fire inside came upon them. There is a greater fire that came upon them to change the fire inside. In heaven, the cloven of fire was and it rested upon their heads. They started to speak in tongues. They speak with tongue, with fire. In other words, the heavenly tongue, they come like a cloven fire. Because within you, you, there is a tongue. There is fire. Now the fire must come down, which is the tongue. So that the fire, that is the tongue, will change. That is the tongue will change. It is the fire the fire that is, that is upward will collide with the fire that is inside when I was with Conan, you don't know what you, is you keep on asking the fire you keep on asking the fire instead of releasing the fire that is within you there are so many things that you don't know about you you. that I wanted to understand Tongue, it is fire it is fire on its own it is able to set aside the fire of the whole body but speak in tongues the kuluma ngosukle pentecost speaking in tongues like the kuluma ngomlilo yes there was umlilo wagcwala umzimba wonke the fire was all that is fire speaking umlilo loyo kulumayo when a witch speaks what he sends to me, he sends it through the fire. Because the tongue is the fire. You just speak with everything. You keep on burning anything. That's why when they are burning the incense, they speak. While you are burning it, yet you are burning it even with your tongue. Sometimes a traditional doctor will say, don't greet anyone. Because they know that once you greet, you will burn your, your tongue. It will keep on burning in the crowd. Yet you need to burn it in your bedroom. Non-believers. They will let you pass and keep quiet. They said, I mustn't speak. Non-believers, they do believe. But we used to speak things. But when you got home, you will forget about it. But you keep on speaking. All things, they are unnecessary. unnecessary. This, this is the fire. <laughs> The Samaritan woman burned all the fire. Jesus set a light to fire on her. This is the fire. Don't take this thing lightly. It is so powerful. When we baptize you, you close your mouth. It is not being baptized. It is so stubborn. It is burning. The tongue is burning. It is fire. I'm not the one who's saying all this It is James. Verse 6. The world, okay. And the tongue is fire. 
The world of iniquity amongst our members is the tongue. It is not good. It is evil. Yes, you are good on your eyes. Once you open your mouth, you can't do it. Lumilu iswe. It stands like a city lungi. of iniquity. Ngulumangao. I'm speaking about Ulim. the tongue Luloto. on its own. Lumilu iswe. It's like the world. Lu iswe lakon. It is a world on its own. Linezwe la lone states an. It have on its own. Linos meleke kewalo. It have its own. Ngunga lungi. World of iniquity. Iniquity. <laughs> yes, I'm sure, right. <laughs> Are you getting it? The, the tongue is the world of iniquity. It is it own South Africa. No government, no constitution here called. Once it speak, it have it own government. That is one that the day of Pentecost should be released so that but it will be They were given the new tongue. Because it was not going to be good. Do you remember the disciples of Jesus? People they don't want to, they didn't want to listen to Jesus. Disciples said, Jesus, do like Elijah, call fire, and then consume Do you send the fire and consume Then when Jesus dies, when a person is born again and yet the time is not that person becomes a witch while he or she is a Christian. It is the world of iniquity. Hey, my God. Which defiles the whole body. It's able to defile the whole body. But it is able to pollute you. Defile the whole body. That is why Jesus said, you have cleansed by the words of the He knows that the tongue can defile the whole body. Even if you have put all your but the tongue can defile you and there's smell of irritation in your mouth. It is the tongue that defiled you. When you come, people will just be annoyed. Yes, they have sent the irritation and you will be stinky even if you have put on your even if you have put on your perfume. It is able to defile the whole world without being combined with the tongue. The tongue on its own is able to defile you. I'm speaking about the tongue. Do you know what is inside you? The power of the It is so dangerous. It can set alight the hell while you are still on earth.